Good morning. Guys, it is Saturday morning. It is 6 a.m. Well, it's probably like 10 past 6 now. Dude, I wore the cutest pajama set last night. But then when I woke up, it was absolutely freezing. So I just threw the sweater on. And now I look like a toad or something. Like... This is not giving off the cutest vibe. But I am getting my hair done this morning at 8 a.m. And the hairdresser that I go to, she is located like 45 minutes away. So that is why I am up early. I had like six hours of sleep and I can feel it. But it's going to be a good day. But you know what we should do? We should make some coffee. You know what you should do? You should subscribe because we're basically best friends at this point. But welcome to the vlog. Welcome to a day in my life. What was I saying? Yes. Let's go make some coffee. I truly think this is going to bring you back to life. Okay, oh wow, this is very blurry. Thank you, camera, for coming into focus. So, this is my outfit of the day. I have these jeans from the brand, I think it's called like New or something. I found them thrifted, but if I can find them on their website, I'll link them. And then this pink crop top and white cardigan are from Princess Polly. I haven't done my hair because obviously it's getting done. And then I just have my Doc Martens on. Also, I don't know what's going on with the weather today. I mean, like, that's very typical of Melbourne, but I think it's gonna be like 25 degrees and thunderstorms and raining. So, I'm like, I don't even know how to dress for that. I guess I'm just gonna pack my spray jacket? I don't know. But anyway, let's go so we're not late. Guys, Cal is being the best boyfriend ever and driving me to this hair appointment and then going to his parents and his parents are like 45 minutes from the city in the opposite direction and my hairdresser is like 45 minutes in the other direction. Does that make sense? So you're driving like 45 minutes out to then drive 45 plus 45 to your parents. You are the best. Yeah, it's just all about being on the open road, you know. <laughs> just really enjoying the freedom. Just love a little Saturday cruise, like a Saturday drive. Um, I'm very appreciative of it because otherwise I would have had to catch the train at like 6 a.m. So you would have best, you would have best. I'm also running late. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. My hairdresser said it's fine. Bye, Cal. Bye. the hair is done I don't really know if you can see it in this light but we just did some light curls I didn't do like a blowout or anything like that because I want to put my extensions in tonight because guys we are going to the Conan Gray concert I don't think I told you I've told you guys like on TikTok wait I'm crossing the road I don't want to be that vlogger that's like vlogging and gets hit by a car anyway we just did some light curls because I was like I'm gonna put my extensions in tonight there's no point doing like a whole blowout but I'm walking to catch the train it's coming in 10 minutes so I actually need to walk significantly faster than this dude wait oh my god the train just went past me I can see it at the station I am literally like 150 meters from the station but I can see the train there right now and it's about to take off and I missed it I have missed my train I am <laughs> live laugh love hopefully there's another one soon damn you know those moments where you're like I can just see my future it's right there but I can't have it me right now oh classic I have to top up my Mikey this is so on brand for me oh my god I like to think I'm an organized person and then stuff like this happens and I'm like literally my life forever the bare minimum slay Guys, oh my god, I just walked in the door and I opened my backpack to like get all my stuff out And for a second I thought I had left my camera at the Aspendale train station And I was like freaking out and I also had that moment when I walked in the door where I was like I am just so glad to be home Like you know those times when you're out and you're like get me home That was me the whole walk back because dude It literally was pouring when I got off the train at Flinders Street Like thank god I had my raincoat like I packed it this morning And there was a protest down at Swanston Street so I couldn't even catch a train and it was like pouring rain but I think I told you this morning like it's so hot outside so it's just that really muggy sticky like rain weather oh my god it's awful but man I am so happy to be home I think it's like 10 past 1 I packed this salad to the hairdresser because I was like I don't know how long I'm gonna be here so I'm gonna eat that now because I'm so hungry but I also didn't want to be that person eating on the train because I don't think you're like meant to eat on the train so I'm gonna eat that I'm gonna make a coffee because I ran out of time this morning to make like an iced coffee to go 
though. Also, yeah, the cupboard door's open. We're just not. We're not going to worry about that on this channel anymore, I think. Anyway, I'm going to eat. I'm going to have a coffee. And then I have the Conan Gray concert tonight. The door's open at 7. He's not on himself till 9.30. And I don't know the opening act. I am meeting these girls there. And they're getting there quite early. But I was like, ah, I'll probably get there around like 7 or 8. So I need to figure that out. But I've got a fair bit of time. So I might try and like get some editing done. Tidy my room. Just like get my life together. Because I have work again tomorrow. So it's almost like I need to do a Sunday reset today on Saturday. You know what I mean? But let's eat. Let's have some coffee. I'm so obsessed with my hair. It kind of looks a little bit crazy right now. Because of the rain. And also I was like just do some loose curls like I mentioned to you guys. Oh I need to curl my hair extensions like ASAP. Thank God I just remembered that. Oh man. Oh, I am so tired. I think I'm gonna make an espresso martini before the concert tonight. But let's eat and let's make a coffee and let's enjoy the rest of the day. Okay guys, I think it's like quarter to three right now. I did some editing and now I'm just kind of like tidying up my room a bit. But I was about to put these away and realized I hadn't shown them to you yet. These are the new loves of my life. Wait, let me go over to my desk so I can like sit down and properly show them to you. I need to remember to put the camera here more often because this is such a cute backdrop. I always put it on this side and then you see the crusty wardrobe. It's like, this is the main show, you know? Like this should be the main backdrop. Anyway, guys, I got these wearable blanket pants from this brand called Comforts. Dude, I did not know this kind of thing existed and it has changed the game for me. First of all, can we please talk about how cute these colors are? I'm obviously obsessed with this pink pair, but I got green as well because I was like, oh, Cal can wear the green pair and then I would still wear them as well. But dude, these pants are so comfy. Okay, so basically they just look like a pair of track pants or sweatpants. So they have the stretchy waist, they have the string, they have the cuffs on the bottoms that go around like your ankle. But what makes these better than just normal sweatpants or trackies is the inside material. Look at this. It is literally like a blanket. Okay, so it's this long head fleece, but it's also double lined. So it's basically two fabrics sewn together, which is what makes the pants thick and warm like a blanket, which is perfect because I know Melbourne is going into summer right now, but literally every single day at the moment feels like winter. The other day it was literally like 16 degrees. And I'm like, hello, summer is meant to start in like a few days. So I've been wearing these around the house a lot and I wanted to show you guys because I feel like these are such a good piece of loungewear to have but they're also a really good gift idea. I am like literally the worst at giving gifts. I have to make lists throughout the year of things I could gift people. So if you're like me, these would be such a good Christmas present, especially for someone who likes cozy nights in or loungewear or even just like Pinteresty aesthetic cozy vibes. I think these would be so good. They also come in this really nice blue color and gray color. I'll put them up on the screen. I really want to get the gray color. I feel like gray is such a staple piece for clothing, especially like trackies and stuff. So I will have these linked down below for you guys. I also have a discount code for comforts as well. So if you want to get any of these pants and save a little bit of money, you can use my discount code. I'll put it up on the screen, but it's Beth20 and it gets you $20 off your first order. But I'm going to put these away. I need to find a new spot in my cupboard where I can put bulky, warm pieces of clothing because at the moment, I just kind of have them shoved up at the top of my cupboard, which I mean works but also doesn't work, you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna fold these up really nicely for now and put them at the top up there. I've kind of just been wearing them a lot because it's been colder. So they've just been out and folded next to my keyboard. But I really just want the room to look nice. Dude, I don't know. I have been so bad at keeping up with keeping my office space clean just because I've been working so much at my part-time job. I think I told you in my like update video and I've been making daily TikToks. Oh, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I've started doing daily vlogging on TikTok, but not like, I don't even know how to say this without sounding like a f***ing idiot. I've just been vlogging my day very naturally and authentically. It sounds so like cringe to say that, but I've really just been like filming whatever happens every single day. And I've been doing that on TikTok and it is so much fun. So you should definitely go follow me over there because then you can kind of keep up to date with everything. I've kind of just been like filling you guys in on what's going on over there. I'll obviously tell you over here as well, but it takes a bit more time to get videos uploaded on YouTube. Where was I going with that? Oh, I've been working full-time hours at my part-time job, so I haven't really had much time at home. And then the time 
that I do have at home I've been editing and stuff like that so I haven't really been keeping up with my cleaning routine or keeping my space tidy which I hate I hate being in a messy space but it's pretty good at the moment I just have like these pants to put away and a couple of other things I also have been going through so many medical things at the moment I don't even talk about it right now but like I was telling my friend Bella on FaceTime yesterday all of these things that I have been going through and she was like girl that is a lot and I'm like yeah you know when you're going through a bunch of stuff and you just kind of get used to that being your life but then when you say it out loud to someone else you're like holy shit, that is a lot that was me yesterday but things are looking up appointments are booked things are getting looked into so it's gonna be fine but anyway it is five to three now i think i'm just gonna get ready for the conan gray concert now like after i put these couple of things in my room away because i just want to be ready i just want to take my time get ready make like an espresso martini or a cocktail or something i feel like i learned how to do my makeup in 2016 and then have just kind of rolled with it told this story over on TikTok, but I want to tell you guys as well. So I spontaneously bought this Conan Gray ticket probably like two or three weeks ago. I got it from Tixel, which is the same resale company that I used when I went to Wallows. If you remember the whole Wallows saga of me like trying to get a ticket. So I was on the fence of whether to go to Conan Gray or not, right? I like signed up for the wait list because all the tickets were sold out. I was like, if a ticket comes up, like maybe I'll buy it. But if I miss out on the concert, I'm not the biggest fan in the world. Like I'll get over it. You know what I mean? Also, what step of makeup am I up to? I feel like I'm trying to do too many things at once right now. Also, not this crusty ass paper towel. And I don't know what's going on, but the sun keeps coming in and going away. So I'm sorry about the lighting. I think I'm up to setting my face. Yeah. I'm up to setting. Anyway, one day this Conan Gray ticket comes up for sale on Tixel. I get an email. I'm like, should I buy this? It was just one ticket, like a single ticket. I'm like, do I just buy this? Is it a sign from the universe? One's come up. Anyway, I spontaneously bought it. I was like, even if I decide I don't want to go, I'll just resell it, whatever. But I mentally prepared to go to this concert by myself because none of my friends are going. I don't know anyone who's going. Should I use a brush or my beauty blender? Sometimes when I use my beauty blender for powder, I feel like it goes too cakey. I love my makeup without powder on. But I just know at this concert it will like sweat off. Maybe I'll just do a light coating with the brush and if it goes bad I've said it once and I'll say it again. No one's gonna look at me at this concert I am not the main attraction. Everyone's there for the band and it's gonna be a dark room. So it's fine Anyway, I mentally prepared to go to this concert by myself because like I've been to concerts by myself before I'm a 27 year old woman. I can go to a concert by myself But then I'm like I should post on my Instagram story and see if anyone else is going because someone who I'm not close with enough to know that they'd be going might be going and then I could just go with them or something. I don't know. It was a very spontaneous decision for someone anxious like me to do. So I post this story. I fully expect no one to reply. I'm like, no one's going to be going or even if they are, they're not going to tell me they're going. I don't know. Anyway, I fully expect no one to reply to this. But then this girl replies and get this. Okay, so this girl I actually met at the Gang of Youths concert. I think I brought you guys along to that concert. Yeah, it was in my like day in Melbourne for free vlog. Anyway, Cal and I had seated tickets to that concert, right? And this girl was working on the door in the area where you go in to get your seat like you know how you walk in and there's always someone there who checks your ticket and is like oh your seat's like down over here well that was the girl's job and I walk in I look at her I show her my ticket she shows me my seat blah 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 and then she's like can I ask you a question oh my god instantly Taylor Swift in my head can I ask you a question anyway I'm like yeah of course she's like are you that good I'm like yes yeah. <laughs> and she told me that she'd followed my YouTube I was like oh my god no way so I like met her she was a subscriber we exchanged Instagram we become friends like you know the vibes anyway it was her who replied to my story being like hey I'm going to Conan Gray with one of my friends like do you want to come with us and I'm like um yes that'll be so much fun so now I'm going to Conan Gray with a subscriber who is now like a friend and her friend like how much of a coincidence is that I was just saying this on TikTok as well like isn't it crazy how this whole situation has happened like what are the chances of her working on the door to the concert I'm going to and like on that specific door where my seat is and for her to follow me like I'm a small creator in the scheme of things and what are the chances of that random Conan Gray ticket coming up me debating for so long about whether I should get it I say so long but it was like three minutes <laughs> but you know that ticket coming up me buying it me then posting on my Instagram story her seeing the story and her to reply being like I have a ticket as well like what are the chances of all of that happening I don't know I feel like that's crazy I love the universe sometimes because you just never know what's gonna happen and isn't it funny when 
like one thing happens it causes like a chain of other events to happen I don't know maybe it's because I'm such a planner person like I like to know what's gonna happen I don't love well I do love some spontaneous things like I am a spontaneous person but to my core I'm a planner I feel like the girls who get it will get it so I don't know I feel like I love that this has happened because I never would have expected it to you know the Sun is shining in so hard I can't even see what I'm doing right now like I truly can't see how this bronzer is going on I'm gonna go check this in the other mirror to make sure I don't just look absolutely ridiculous and I will be back okay I finished getting ready I just had these clips in my hair because my hair being in my face was driving me crazy also the Sun is coming in so intensely I've put the blind like halfway down I'll show you my outfit like before I go but I've made this well Cal made this decaf espresso martini it still has a shot of Kahlua in it so I think that'll wake me up but I'm hoping it'll be more like a placebo effect because I'm kind of tired from waking up early this morning but it tastes so good okay guys it is 7 25 I am I was gonna say about to leave but I actually realized I don't need to leave till 8 because Conan isn't on till 9 30 and I thought the walk was gonna be so far but Google Maps says it's only 20 minutes so I don't need to leave till about I want to say like 10 to 8 I feel like that'll give me enough time but this is my outfit I have this skirt from Princess Polly it's this high-rise skirt but I think I want to like fold it and make it a bit more low-rise because I have this black corset top from Supre and I absolutely love it but it sits kind of low so when this skirt goes up it's just I don't know if you can tell but I feel like it sits a bit too close together and then I'm gonna wear my wait where are they I'm going to wear my platform loafers because that way I'll be able to see but I'm very excited I'm also excited to be able to leave later because I don't care about being at the front you know what I mean like the people I'm going with like we just kind of want to like vibe and dance at the back and that's the exact vibe that I feel like I'm ready for <laughs> Cal is like running off one hour sleep. You are so dead right now. Did that take everything? Yes. Let's do it. Let's go. It's gonna be fun. I'm Luki crushing as well, but we got this. Guys, I don't know if you can hear me because I have to vlog with my phone, but I love for Conan Gray. I'm walking. It starts raining, but I'm like, oh, it's only a little bit. I knew it was gonna get worse. Um, it is now absolutely pouring. There is thunder, there is lightning. It is so intense. So my curls are absolutely destroyed, but I'm waiting for a tram now. Hopefully we can get there. I literally messaged my friend and I was like, where are you? She's like, we are hiding under cover. She sent me this DM being like, queen, don't rush. Like the line is so long, it's not moving because of the rain. And I was like, okay, I'm already on my way. So hopefully we make it, hopefully it'll be fine. It'll still be so fun anyway. Like who gives a shit? I packed a scrunchie, I'll throw my hair up. It'll still be fun. Guys, we made it.
not an all right time. But, uh, I have some unfortunate news. This is my very last song. I'm just like kind of tired. Like kind of jet lagged, you know. Not that tired. I don't know, I just, I just feel like you guys don't even really want me here. So, um, since this is my very last song, and I'm totally not just lying to your face right now. Since this is my very last time I'll ever be on this stage, y'all better give it your all. Tell all of your friends.